Well, we, as Christians, we were before the collapse of the old regime, about one million. But we suffered a lot uh, in Baghdad, Mosul, Kirkuk, Basra, and uh, more than uh, 300,000 people left. And uh, from uh, 2003 until now, 937 people, Christians, have been killed and uh, uh, 56 churches have been attacked. Therefore, many Christians left the country because they were afraid and they didn't trust the situation. There is no vision about the future. Others went to the Kurdistan, but even there, there are no, uh, no, no services, uh, no jobs, no schools, and also there they, they started to live for good. I think the future is not uh, known, and if the situation continues as we are, there will be no more Christians. Because three people are uh, behind you know, the pressure upon Christians, the politicians, because they want Christians to be with them for their qualification. And also <clears throat> the fundamentalists. They don't like other religions than Islam, but not only Islam, but also, a, you know, a, a confession like Sunni. They want to be Sunni and to form a, an Islamic state according to Islamic law, and they don't like the others. The Shiites in the same way. So the mi minorities <clears throat> are attacked for that. But also the third group uh, is, you know, a kind of mafia of criminals. They want, they attack or kidnap Christians uh, in purpose to have m money, and um, very often they killed also the kidnapped people, and they also got uh, the money. So we we as Christians we feel isolated, forgotten, and an easy target, and this is very bad. We have polit uh, political uh, parties, but they are so weak, they cannot do anything. And uh, they are depending on others, as a church also. We try to, to help our people uh, spiritually, morally, but uh, also economically. But I think it's not enough. I think if uh, in the Middle East as whole, well, and Iraq is an example, if the others uh, want to uh, want us to to remain and also to contribute uh, in the reconstruction of our country as we did before, first they ha we need a political uh, statement uh, acknowledge Christians as a a component uh, of Iraq and also in the Middle East and a very dynamic group but also we need from the Islamic authority uh, a kind of uh, fatwa condemning the attack against Christians and churches and saying that this is against uh, religion and also to acknowledge uh, uh, Christianity as a religion in the same level that uh, uh, Islam, you know. There, there that will be maybe very helpful. There had been terrible killings in the past years, uh, stretching from Kirkuk up to Mosul, mm -hmm. and even in, in including parts of, of Kurdistan. Who is, and even a bishop was killed. Who is behind this? You know, th there was an inquiry, but until now nothing has been uh, published or declared. We don't know. Many groups, very confused, very complicated. In, only in Kirkuk, 37 people have been killed as Christians in this, and five churches have been attacked, our cathedral. Uh, with a car bomb uh, in uh, 2008 uh, in the wall uh, there was only material damage but <clears throat> you know as i said there is a struggle between between uh, uh, you know the central government and also uh, kurdish government to have a christians and many times 
this group uh, does not like us to stay with that group and vice versa. Therefore, many problems have been created because we are just like a sandwich between all. Who is helping you? Well, we, we are trying to help ourselves, really, because, uh, you know, the government is doing nothing, not only for us, but also for Iraqi citizens, you know. We, maybe you heard uh, 19 uh, uh, prisoners have been uh, fled uh, from the prison, and they, they were criminals, and also they are attacking all over the country. Uh, you know, the European Union and UN are all, all only uh, stating good uh, speeches, but nothing uh, indeed, uh, in fact. So we, we, are, uh, we, are, we believe and we trust God. This is the only, I think, the only support uh, we have. Are you disappointed from us Europeans? Yeah. Leaving you letting you down? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because, you know, in the beginning of this, the, the, the last uh, century, Europe was uh, spreading an, uh, an, uh, knowledge and also culture, civilization. But now uh, Europe is, and also the West at, uh, together, are looking for uh, economic interests and political interests. No more culture. No more uh, knowledge, you know, sciences. For instance, in the beginning, they were when they came to the Middle East, they opened hospitals, schools, and uh, universities all over. But now, nothing. Is it then a, a collapse? A collapse of values? Of human values and religious values, and uh, you know, in, in Europe, I am always traveling. I feel that. Uh, you know, the family values and also religious values, spiritual values are saying nothing, no more. And the individualism is uh, dominant. Here we still uh, have, uh, we keep uh, the values of family, we are close and our mentality is collective. It is positive, but also sometimes it's negative. How do you see the future? I, as a Christian, as a bishop, uh, I am hopeful, <laughs> but uh, in fact, indeed, it is dark. And now with the problems in Syria and also what we call uh, uh, Arabic Spring, we are dis disappointed as Christians and also as uh, minorities. Now Islam is, is taking over all over the countries and they are uh, trying to, to impose uh, Islamic law as it was in the 7th century. And personally, I think it doesn't work. It will not work. Impossible. The mentality has changed. The world has changed. Everything has changed. And the religion should be updated also. You see yourself on a way to extinction? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can, as Christians, minority, <clears throat> when we are united, maybe we can a little bit help them, uh, help them to to see or to distinguish uh, in uh, a different manner, you know, in different way, and to read also religion in a really. Uh, uh, historic uh, context and also to have an interpretation and not repeating the same thing as it was in 7th century. This is a pity. May I briefly at, at the end come back to the idea of EU just speaking, doing nothing. Uh, what would you expect as a concrete project? The EU would propose in order to help you to survive? I think they, can, they, they are incapable to do anything. I think the future should be from here, you know. Uh, the only way is, the, you know, a civil uh, state. Uh, I mean secular, but secular with religious values, not 
against opposite as it is in Europe, you know, no more religious values, I mean officially. And here everything is religious. And it doesn't work. I think we, they have to separate religion from the state. Religion is something based on, on the truth, and I, I don't know, on the truth, but uh, policy is on the interests. So they are different things. I think uh, uh, here, if they want a future, better future, they have to separate religion from the state. And uh, also uh, focusing on the citizenship for everybody. Equality, justice, without taking uh, in consideration uh, this citizen, uh, c citizen is Christian, is Muslim, is Kurdish, is Arabic. It, uh, this is very bad. I am an Iraqi, I have full rights to be Iraqi, to be treated as Iraqi, and uh, without uh, being Christian or Muslim. And we are trying to say that.